Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you again. Our today's topic for the latest Hotel Logics webinar is Social Media, Web Marketing and Reputation Management for the Hospitality Industry. I am extremely happy to let you all know that we have with us Mr. Abhijit Arya, who is the CEO and the spearhead of the Internet Vocals, a company that is dedicated and is specializing in design, social and technology mediums for hotels, travel, airline and real estate industry. Mr. Avijit Arya has many years of experience and is a speaker, writer, columnist on social media and online reputation management around the world across leading social media digital marketing conferences. I'm very happy again to welcome you all and now over to Mr. Avijit Arya to walk you through the rest of the webinar. Avijit, over to you now. Hello and welcome everyone and thank you for joining us at this Hot Logics uh, webinar on hotel marketing and reputation management. Uh, we would like to start by talking about key elements that make hotel marketing uh, important for uh, t today's times and most of it involves digital marketing and reputation management which is obviously a huge part of social media as well. Now, if you can all see this presentation that I am sharing, uh, we, you know, we normally say that hotel marketing is divided into four spheres, one, uh, four quadrants, one being GDS marketing, the other being OTA management, third being digital marketing with design, SEO, PPC, and the fourth being social media and online reputation management. This whole marketing mix is supplemented by a call center and a hotel uh, sales team. So this largely forms most of what is done by a hotel to market themselves. Now, for the sake of this presentation, we will be focusing on what is most important in terms of digital marketing and internet marketing, web marketing for hotels and the hospitality trade as a whole. Although all four of these quadrants are interrelated, there are generally two kinds of guests, a leisure traveler uh, uh, that a hotel expects, a leisure traveler as well as a business traveler. So if we take an example of a leisure traveler for now, we see that a leisure traveler might uh, want to get into a hotel system. He might become a prospective guest for a hotel through any of the four quadrants that we are talking about. Uh, he could come in through the GDS, through a travel agent. He could come in through an OTA, like a Booking.com and Expedia. He could come in through web design, uh, uh, come in through a, a search engine, through a Google or a Yahoo or a Bing. Or he could come through social media or reputation management channel, uh, like um, a TripAdvisor. So all four quadrants are equally important today to make sure that it, all of them are a part of the hotel marketing mix. In some cases, it has been seen that as internet marketing and the role of web marketing is increasing, awareness for the is increasing around the world, people are focusing, people did not focus on digital marketing, are now spending huge dollars on digital marketing. But the one point we like to always make is that digital marketing is a very strong and evolving medium and uh, it helps you measure ROI faster and more accurate than most other mediums. However, it is not the only medium. And the best way, best use of digital marketing is to make it a part of the whole internet marketing mix of the hotel. So all four quadrants are equally important. Digital marketing, internet marketing for hospitality should be a part of the entire mix and not just one uh, medium which will get you uh, 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 your rooms full for the entire year. Now, moving forward, I would like to talk about online reputation management. Online, the first thing we like to say is that we all know that a good reputation is a prized possession. Now, the first thing we like to add here is that all online, all, uh, online reviews received on various reputation management, uh, reputation websites like TripAdvisor and others are a function of what happens offline. Our services uh, of how we deliver services from our laundry to our housekeeping, from 
the concierge to the guy who's going to pick up the uh, customer. It's not only the room that we are selling, it's not only the FMB we are, we are selling, but all the ancillary services that make an impact on a guest's mind, whether or not he's happy with the hotel. So most all the activities that come, all the reviews that come online are a function of what happens offline. So that's the most important thing. And therefore, there has to be operational efficiency that are brought into a hotel before uh, at all levels from the junior management to the senior management for reputation for a, for a good rep, for a hotel to enjoy good reputation for the year. Now in most cases it has been seen that a reputation uh, management uh, or social media work is uh, handled by the top management. A top management gets a very good tool to analyze brand sentiments or hotel sentiments across the web and they get to know what is happening on the internet about their hotel. However, it is it is more important to ensure that everybody in uh, the organization is as involved. For example, you uh, mentioned before, it is not only your uh, not only your junior most staff, uh, not only your senior most staff, but junior people as well who need to be more engaged with the uh, with the process and what is happening. Now, online reputation management, there are many tools which monitor uh, brand performance online. Internet internet is a medium where everybody is available to vent if they're not happy or if, uh, uh, if they are happy with the product. Okay, the first and foremost thing is why should we respond to online reviews? What, you know, uh, there's a lot of debate that, you know, reviews come from, you know, all over. Should we actually engage in AST or somebody doing it in-house to ensure that online reviews are responded to? Definitely. Today, it increases engagement. It shows the customer that you're listening. It cultivates long-term brand loyalty. It helps you maintain a positive reputation. See, here is a platform which allows us all these, or you know, when you when you're sending a management response to an online review, it is basically like saying somebody has addressed some it's an address to, somebody has given has a concern about your good or bad, and you are addressing it. So it does show the hotel in good light. It is a relatively easy and free uh, medium to increase uh, brand awareness of the hotel. And it's an opportunity to start corresponding with not only that one customer who has written a review, but the other eight or ten who might be looking at that one review or management response to that view to make a decision whether or not to book that hotel. The challenge is, are we listening? And how much are we listening? Guests are wanting to talk to us and they are constantly in their mind whether a hotel is listening to us or not. And it's very important to always be in the mind of the hotels to say that here, not only like I mentioned, not only the people who had it in their view, but others who are looking at that uh, to make them make up their mind whether to book that hotel or not. What are the objectives? What are the objectives that we have? It, like we mentioned, it demonstrates that we are listening, that we are concerned. We want to improve if there is a concern. Understand the guest perspective. A lot of time and money and resources are today spent on understanding how a customer, uh, what he is liking about us. I think online reputation management and all these, all, all these tools where reviews uh, come online is a great medium for hotels to understand where they are going uh, wrong and where they can correct helps you win over new customers as well. It helps you reinforce the positive. In most cases, contrary to popular belief, there are a lot of people who are with right, good things about the hotel as well. So uh, it is a great idea to adopt uh, online reputation management and not shy away from the, uh, from the fact that this might be a double-edged sword and we might be getting only the uh, uh, if we open up the channel and start engaging with it more, a lot of hoteliers fear that we might be getting only negative, response, uh, negative reviews coming in. It also provides the opportunity to explain the situation. Like for example, there was a hotel which had, uh, which, which had some renovation going on. And this is the major concern when it comes to online reputation management. A hotel has to renovate once in a while. 
to keep the guests uh, happy. But when it, a hotel can almost never close down when a, a construction or uh, something is happening, and that is the time that a lot of people do uh, uh, express their unhappiness on saying that we were staying at the hotel and they were they were going to construction. Now a management response is a great way for a hotel to clearly, without hiding the facts, say that we are going through some construction. However, it's happening maybe on the only on the fourth floor. We will ensure that the other floors are not disturbed. Thank you for bearing with us during that time. In most cases, the customer is happy. A prospective guest or a guest staying with you is happy when he knows that it is all that my concerns are being addressed and taken care of, and the hotel is being as candid as possible. Now, what are the different ways of making uh, your reviews? What are the? It, it is most important to listen to customer feedback. Today, there are many tools out in the market which help you understand what is being said about your hotel. So, what are people saying about you? First and foremost, is you need to set up tracking tools to be aware of both praise and criticism. Knowing what exactly your guests are saying help you helps you take appropriate action. Most of the tools which are available today let you know where your com complaints, are, if at all your negative reviews, where are they originating from? Are they coming from? Are they coming mostly from uh, uh, the laundry department or the housekeeping or the concierge? Or are people unhappy with my rooms? In some cases, it's the location. It is very easy for a hotel uh, management to understand where these reviews originate from, so that they can take corrective action for the same. It, these tools also do something which is fantastic, which is that it helps you see what is being said about your competition. Where do you fare in terms of uh, a particular service as against your competition? It allows you to enter uh, uh, online chat throughout the internet. As mentioned, obviously you know where your weaknesses lie, and it focuses on improving your reputation. Only once you once you know where in what department of the hotel you might need some correction. It helps you, it helps the senior management make decisions to ensure that these things don't happen again. How to respond to reviews? Now a lot of people have said that there is still a going uh, debate. Should we respond to positive reviews or only negative reviews? Should we respond to both or only one? And what about reviews which we don't find 100% genuine? Should we respond to them as well? These are growth concerns, and there is still a debate, and everybody has different practices. In our experience, we've seen best practices are those where a hotel is responding to all kinds of reviews, a positive or a negative. Now we talk about how to respond to these reviews. So some of the best practices, thank the reviewer for the feedback. A person is an it's the same as if a person is coming to you at your reception and addressing a concern. You will thank him for giving you that feedback. You will respond to any negative uh, comments. You will apologize if needed for the legitimate negative experience that the guest has had. Explain the steps that you take. Now it is very important to note that every time in your managed response, if you are explaining a step to a, a guest, say, uh, Apologize for the inconvenience you had for the delayed um, trip to the airport. You know there was construction going on after the hotel. The 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 airport is delayed. We will ensure that uh, on your way back or when next day with us, we uh, will ensure that the guy reaches on time. You're uh, you're ensuring that the guests or the other prospective guests who are looking at that reviews understand that here is a, here is somebody from a hotel, part of the service industry. Things might go wrong. But there is a proactive management, and they are saying that they will take care of situations. It is also a growing debate. People are talking about that if SEO-friendly keywords they do make a difference in a management responses. There is no harm in putting them there. Next, promote your services via management response. Although uh, many uh, don't allow outside promotional activities, however, you use subtle marketing in your uh, management responses. Thank you, Ms. for example, if somebody sends a review, uh, one good example could be, thank you for staying with us. Uh, look forward to, uh, we, we'll be glad that you had a uh, great experience staying with us. Next month, uh, and, and since you're a frequent guest, next month we're having the jewelry coming to town and we have a special uh, offer, uh, we have, we have a, uh, we are opening our new bar uh, 
or a new lounge or a new facility in the hotel or new amenity and next time you come we'll be more than happy to introduce you to the same. This will be a marketing effort through management response which other prospective guests will see and know more about your hotel. Some things which feel, we, we feel should be avoided are angry abusive responses and definitely to the senior mid-level management these reviews should not be taken personally. We, in most cases, us hoteliers are sometimes see that a management other trip other uh, review could be a direct attack on the way that we are running our hotels, but it is not to be taken personally at all. It is not a very good idea to question the reviewer at all, or replying with a discount or a coupon, because replying with a discount or a coupon basically uh, you know it makes makes it a very promotional kind of an activity or corporate battle with no substantial change. People want to know that it is not a copy paste or a cut and paste uh, job that you're doing. People want to know that you are actually listening to what I'm saying and addressing my very concern. Now this slide says if something is broken, fix it. And so if being general manager or part of the hotel, you would definitely, if you had a guest coming to you, I did customer, this is definitely what we would not say. What if you return your money, give you all the presidential suite, close the hotel and have the general manager show would that be really definitely going to take personally and get back to our client with this kind of a response. Some examples on managing reviews. As we said, something is broken, fix it, don't fix the reviewer. So here is a, a, a almost a negative review, you can call it that. One star, stay in this hotel of two hours, book for three nights. It was the dirtiest hotel I've seen. The child lost her finger. So this is one of the best reviews that you can get. And the response that is given is, it surprises me how some people can say such things knowing fully well it is complete fabrication. I'm quite shocked and disappointed that certain people can be so negative without any reason or foundation. Shocking. Now this is an actual response that somebody might have given to a So this is definitely not, this is definitely an example of somebody taking it very personally. Another example of a well-written management response. It says rooms are fine but poor currently experienced. Close to the port and relatively clean hotel, a bit noisy though, and not the best food and drink options. No bar and almost no choices for wine or beer. Apparently no liquor license. Food was quite average. They are still given three stars over here. The management response says, greeting from XYZ Hotel. Thank you for staying with us. And thank you for choosing to stay at our hotel and your valuable feedback. We are disappointed to note your discontent with our food and beverage services. We apologize for the limit we can range on offer at present. However, we are in the process of opening a bar facility very shortly. We are keen to make amends on the shortcomings you faced. Rest assured of a much improved experience in the future. Now, this kind of a positive response to a not so good uh, review enforces confidence in the minds of the other prospective guests who are looking at uh, uh, you to make up their mind whether to book your hotel or not. Now, moving forward, tell the guests directly in your replies on any of these channels. Tell the story of how you did it through different social media channels. Tell the media with all diseases. There are many ways managing your managing your reputation on that. I am going to go through some of the basics again to ensure that we got part of the presentation. The first part is that there are many tools available in the market to ensure that your hotel gets the brand sentiments across the internet. What is being about the hotel, good, bad, will be tracked. You will also be able to know through most of these tracking tools what your competition is doing and what are the reviews about the competition. 
third most important thing is that you will know which particular service you need to focus on. I feel that every morning, most companies which are having their reputation well, every morning, a 20 minute meeting just to analyze what the sentiment analysis tools are talking about. In the last 24 hours, how many people spoke good or bad about my laundry or my housekeeping, about my rooms or my location? Apart from location, I think I can, any hotel can make sure that most of the services are up to the mark of the customer. So, use, I would recommend use a very good uh, 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 brand uh, tracking tool which tracks everything which is being said about the hotel. Make it part of every morning meeting with, uh, with the senior management to ensure we know what is being said about us and our competition and accordingly make changes. Online reputation is, as I said in the beginning, what you saw. What you saw. Of online reviews are only a function whatever is happening online. So whatever efforts you're putting in improving your system and processes offline will make sure will make your reviews online. And while building your reputation online, I would encourage have some patience. It takes time. As soon as you start responding and you start responding in the right way, and you have five or ten good positive reviews. Uh, it will not. It will not change the way the hotel makes revenues. It will take some time. Now, how do we get more reviews? What is what is a, is a good way to give uh, get reviews? Some of the time tested steps and experience that we gather from working with hotels are a lot of satisfied guests are ready to write reviews. If you're happy with our service, guest relations executives in more hotels have now been given a new role of ensuring that they know which the guests which are checked happy, the ones which are not, and encourage people to write reviews about us if they were, if they have a happy situation. In most cases, it has been seen that two kinds of people write these reviews, which affect our online reputation our reputation of the hotel: the people who are actually very happy and the people who are very upset. So. Let's ensure that we take care of the people who are upset and ensure that we make better systems and prospects. At the same time, ensure that people who are happy should write reviews for us. Launch a social media campaign. Facebook and other platforms today are great to connect with your guests and ask them and see their sentiments and see what they're, uh, how they're talking about the hotel and ensure that these people are connected with the hotel through Facebook. Today, you can have like a TripAdvisor widget on Facebook, so somebody comes to your Facebook page, can actually go to TripAdvisor and see your rankings from there. Have them write more about you. Reach out to those people through social media campaigns. You could have, you know, a content publishing effort as well. Publish content within your hotel and in your newsletters. Tell people that if you're happy about us, you know, talk to us. Let us know through these mediums. TripAdvisor has some cards which you know, which they allow you to uh, through a process to give out to your clients to say, uh, take a moment to write a few sen sentences about us. Get those cards, and we will encourage hoteliers uh, to give these cards out to their guests who are checking out happy. Newsletters. A lot of hotels engage in newsletters, but newsletters are mostly professional. Us, your newsletters can also be about. Hope you are satisfied. Stay with us. Please take out some time to write something about us. It's a great time-tested uh, uh, phenomena, and it works. You start using newsletters to garner more uh, reviews about your hotel. And also, a lot of uh, review channels allow, allow you to integrate widgets on your website as well. There are some funny reasons a hotel we don't need to be, uh, need an online marketing or reputation management strategy. Some say we already have an online reservation system. It's like saying we already have an email form. Look, if you search on Google for money, we're on a man. You need to have a complete strategy so people who are not looking for you can also find you. I'd have to direct it, uh, discuss it with the director of sales, who would have to discuss it with the GM, who would have to discuss it with the owner. These are some of the veterans on marketing. Marketing has not reached almost every hotel and at all levels. People say, we don't need that. We are full all the time. 
and at $39 a night, reputation improves. If your web marketing improves, you can charge, you can command a higher price. Social media and reputation. Today, a guest who is finding you through any of these channels is also looking at any of any or all of the other channels to ensure he or she is is double checking other channels to ensure that they're getting the best deal or checking your reputation to ensure that this is the correct hotel. So to sum it up, all these four quadrants, a customer might a prospective guest might land anywhere. And to give you an example, if a person reaches your hotel through search engine optimization, you've search engine optimized very well, you have the right keywords for your hotel. This is very important as a very important part of the web marketing strategy. Once a person is found you through that, once a person has found you through uh, a search engine optimization or a PPC campaign, he goes to your website. Once he's on your website, he should find a nice clear website where the rates, where the pricing and the offers and the pictures, the most important part and the part leading to the booking engine because eventually that's where we want him to go is very clear and easy to maneuver. After which, the guy says, fine, I've, I think I found, the hotel has done SEO and SEM. The hotel has got a fantastic website. And now, they find a good price. I said, fine. There is a possibility that they might book the hotel site right there through the booking engine and that's the end of the deal. But there's a growing possibility today that the guy might go from uh, uh, from there to order number three, which is that he might check the hotel's rates and availability and review on an, a channel like an Expedia or an Agoda or a Booking.com or a Kayak or any channel across the world. Now, if OTA management has been done properly, you have uh, rate parity throughout and good pictures and anything that the OTA uh, wants for a hotel to feature well, then, a ho then there are two possibilities. A guy might today go back to your hotel booking engine or he might go to Expedia to book again. Or there's a third possibility which is emerged. He says, before booking uh, this hotel, let me go to uh, quarter number one and see if I can actually get a sense of what we can do uh, what people are saying about them on social media uh, and reputation management channels. So for example, Facebook. Uh, since the advent of Facebook Graph, today I can actually type uh, the name of a hotel and actually see if any of my friends have liked it or stayed with it or have said something about it. So it's a mini search engine. So people are going to Facebook to see what their friends have said about that particular hotel they might be choosing. Secondly, they might be going to reputation management channels like uh, reputation channels like uh, uh, review channels like TripAdvisor and others to see what has been what people are saying about that. Now again, there are possibilities. He might go back to the booking engine. He might go back on the website. He might go back to Expedia, or he might even go back to the call center of the hotel. That now I am a much more informed guest. I have been through all the channels. I've seen what the travel agent has to offer. I've seen what the website says. I have seen what the hotel is talking, uh, is promoting on Expedia, and I've seen the reviews on TripAdvisor. I am today a much more informed guest. I will call up the hotel call center and I will ask them for a uh, specific price. And if at that time the call center is not in alignment with all the other channels in terms of rates and pricing the customer or the guest, prospective guest feels confused. At that time, he needs to, uh, at that time, he needs to understand how important this 360, uh, the 360 degree approach is that at all channels, between all channels, the same messaging, the same uh, pricing has to be there. So he finds a consistent effort by the hotel to market.